when you don't care, it shows. So the nation of Islam have always been out there talking to their people. No, I'm not worried at all. I rely on God, Allah. I want to say this about the nation of Islam. I think it's important for people to get some perspective. Because as you know, not only Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Imam Siraj Wahaj and others yes, were part yes. of the nation of Islam. Yeah. And, and I want to say this about the nation that obviously we have a different aqidah. Yeah. We do. Uh, I know I was there. I, I preached it. I was a minister in the nation of Islam. Mm. But one thing I tell you about the nation of Islam that they have that maybe too many Muslims don't have. Um, when I was a student at New York University, no Muslim ever came to me and even gave me a pamphlet. pamphlet. No one ever invited me to a halakha or anything like that. But the brothers from the Nation of Islam, they did. They came to me in the cafeteria. So how you doing, my black brother? Mm. And what they did is they showed love so that black people love the Nation of Islam. Take a brother like me. I saw the newspaper called Muhammad Speaks. Mm. I quit my job to sell Muhammad Speaks newspaper full time, a 25 cent newspaper. Why did I do it? Because Elijah Muhammad taught me to love my people and I had to go after them. So what I did, I went into the projects by myself alone with these papers and sold 1000 newspapers a week. I had customers and I would go visit them. I became loved by them. They invited me to their marriages, to their graduations, to their funerals. And this was the nation of Islam. So they have a quality there and they didn't go after white people. They went after black people. If the Muslims had the same kind of zeal in going after the people, inviting the people, would make a, a major difference. Let me let me give an example. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was in the West Coast and I went to a hotel called the Doubletree Hotel. I don't know if you have that in Canada, the Doubletree Hotel. Yes. And they're famous for these cookies. They have the best mm -hmm. cookies in the world. I don't know if you've ever been there. So I go to the hotel and every hotel room had a card and the card said, when you care, it shows. Mm. When you care, it shows. I would argue, when you don't care, it shows. So the nation of Islam have always been out there talking to their people. Maybe right now, uh, Minister Farrakhan will get more exposure. The brothers from the nation of Islam will get more exposure. But I will tell you this, that the people in the nation of Islam are getting closer and closer to Orthodox Islam. Let me give really? a couple of examples. Yeah, of course, of course. Now they say uh, publicly, they used to teach that this person, Father Muhammad, was God in person. They don't teach that anymore. They teach the one God, Allah. Now they now they'll talk about Prophet Muhammad being the last messenger. They used to fast in the month of December. Now they all fast in the month of Ramadan. So slowly, I've been working with them. Alhamdulillah, continue to work with them to bring them closer. Because you have to understand, 1975, when Elijah Muhammad died, his son, Wadaf Zadim Muhammad, becomes the head of the nation of Islam. In one year, he transformed us into Sunni Muslims. Mm -hmm. So I'm always saying, keep the door open. Keep yes. the door open for the nation of Islam and other people who may have different aqidah, but when we talk to them and have relationship with them, then it will make a difference. So right now, um, a lot of people will listen to Minister Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam right now. A lot of people, because mm -hmm. this is not a new message for them. They've been preaching that. So pray, you know, pray, pray for guidance. You know, yeah. um, we we want everybody but to grow. Do I feel that the New York police are providing enough protection, or do I have to have protection of my own? I look for protection from Allah.